Psalms 34, verse 10. Watch. The Bible says, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Watch this. The desire of a senior lion to provide for his or her lioness, his or her lion cub, is based on lineage. You know, that's my cub, I'm going to provide for it. The Bible says even these beasts who are the king of the jungle, their cubs at times suffer hunger. As powerful and as cunning, as majestic as these creatures are, there are times when they can't fulfill their obligation to feed their young. These beasts, watch this, will put themselves in harm's way to provide for small lions who cannot provide for themselves. That's what the scripture is dealing with us about. Even with all their desire, their cunning, their strength, and their courage, there are sometimes when their efforts to provide food for young lions are unsuccessful. Y'all have seen it on Animal Planet, on those animal channels, when lions go out trying to find some food for their young and they're unsuccessful, they miss it. The Bible is teaching us that it happens sometimes. Young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But watch this. The desire of the Lord to provide for those who seek him never goes unfulfilled. Mm. Come on, you see God? You see God? Everything you need, God going to get it to you. Yes. His ability to provide good things for seekers will always be granted. Lions, even though they are awesome in their ability, have their limitations. These limitations will cause them to fail at providing for their young. Why? With God, <coughs> this isn't the case. His omnipotence, omni, all, potent power. His all power causes no situation or circumstance to overwhelm his ability to provide good things for special people. Who are the special people? Those folks who will see God. Yes. The Bible says, they who seek the Lord say, I want any good thing. The word want means lack. So seekers of God will ultimately receive the good things they lack. What do you lack today? What do you lack? What do you lack? Are there any lacks in your life? You start seeking God. God said, if you seek me, I'm going to get it to you. Oh, come on, somebody. Instead of begging me, God said, seek me. Instead of crying, seek my faith and see what I'll do for your life. That's right. I used to say this, you know, I thank God when he gives you revelation. I used to say there are two people that God really holds in high premium. One was a worshiper, the other one was an intercessor. I'm going to give you a third one now, a seeker. You seek God, God will do something special for you. What do you lack? In your mind, let me ask you a question. What do you lack in life? You set your heart to see God, God is saying, I don't care what it is, I'll get it to you. I'm trying to whet your appetite, saints, to show you why you need to seek him. That's right. God is saying, when you seek me and you find me, all the stuff comes along with it. Yes. Somebody say amen. Amen. Benefit number one. Give you another benefit.